right, so now that we've looked at the basic drawing techniques in Flash, <coughs> let's take a look at using the Polygon tool. The Polygon tool is hidden up underneath the Rectangle Oval tool area. You come down, it's called the Poly Star tool. And um, when you click the Poly Star tool, <coughs> excuse me, one of the options over here is you'll get an options toolbar that allows you to set the number of sides. So let's make ours a, 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 an octagon. So I'm going to make it eight. And there we go, and I'm going to draw it out, and sure enough, I get a perfect octagon, a perfect stop sign. So, got to be on a layer. I keep throwing this to you guys. There it shows you why it's always important to make sure you lock and unlock your layers. I've got a perfect stop sign. That's great. Really does some great things. And you know, you can mess around with that. You can change the uh, options from uh, number of sides. I can go down to a pentagon, and so on and so forth. And you can create all these great designs, and that's terrific. And I think it's wonderful and all that great stuff. But there's a hidden secret here that not a lot of flashers learn about early on, and I'm going to give you a jump start. And that is, when you select the Polygon tool, the Polystar tool, if you come down to the options, when you open up the toolbar settings, one of them is the star setting. And then uh, leaving it just at 5 with uh, the point size of being 5, watch what happens. I can draw out a perfect star that um, I may want to use for whatever reason. And that's pretty cool. But I can do other things with it, too. Watch that. I'm going to go back there again. I'm going to go back to my properties again. <clears throat> and I'm going to change that number to, I don't know, let's make it 25. I'm going to leave it at 50. And watch what happens. I can create nice bursts. I can create any of those kind of designs that I would typically want for a lot of different reasons. If I come back in and I go back to my options and I maybe make this, I don't know, 1.0 to make it really kind of interesting. And I click on it now, I get a more of a medallion kind of um, emblem kind of burst. So there's a lot of things that you can do that are really exciting with the polygon tool. And so I thought I would share that with you to f help you understand that there are these little hidden secrets. And the great beauty of the polygon tool is that these are just like any other the, of, or any of the other raw primitives is what I'm trying to say. Um, and that is... Uh, they work the same way, meaning that if I hit my F key, I can click on it, I drag it, I leave behind my stroke, etc. All of the same rules apply to this, and um, that's really about it for the Polystar tool, but I t I'm encouraging you to, to investigate it, play around with it. You can learn to do some really interesting things with it.